show tonight doing a little tutorial on how to paint boring board game miniatures. It's for a friend of mine or in Adelaide who thinks he can't paint. I'm going to show him. It's really easy. Basically two very simple steps that any child can master to paint a miniature to a tabletop standard where people are going to look at it from afar and say, oh wow, you are so good at painting. And then it'll get her up close and be like, ah, oh, well, you know, it's still okay, but their miniatures will be all boring and grey, whereas yours will be painted. They can get fucked. So, we're just going to go with very basic colours here. And it's going to be an easy two-stage process. We will paint on a base colour, and then we wash over it with a very watered down paint called a wash very uninspired name and that's basically going to be it very simple very easy technique easy paint and save you a lot of time so our first coat because it's going to be washed over no pun intended doesn't have to be neat you just pour this stuff on I'm using a very average brush that I've had for a long time, but you could probably use a paint scraper or a spatula, potentially a catapult to put this layer on. Really, really doesn't matter. Just look for the bits and pieces that need to be one color and wipe the paint on them. Also helps if you put enough paint onto your palette so you don't have to keep adding shit. But, them's the brakes. Alright, that's a dick load of paint. Always water it down. Just give your paint a little drop of water. Make sure that your paint doesn't get all dry and gloopy. And fuck up your brushes. Also, if you ever get paint up to the nub, of the brush, wash all the fucking paint out, wash it all out, dry it off, and start again, because otherwise you'll fuck up your brushes, and you will end up with tiny little trump heads, little toilet brushes that are no good for anything, detail or otherwise. So, like I said, just going to be painting these really really basically now i did use an undercoat it's called undercoat of gray by army painter but you can undercoat pink for what matters it's literally just a small coat for the paint to hang on to before we wash over it now we'll be washing over it with a darker color keep this in mind when you're picking out your colors because they're going to get a lot darker. So I'm going for some brown pants. And I'm starting out with a lighter colour. Because when we wash over it, it's going to be a dark wash. And they're going to end up a lot darker. Pants. Ooh. Next we can do is wife beater. Classic white. I don't know. Really breaking it up here in this. But... Not here to fucking teach rocket geology. Just putting paint on a bit of plastic. Water down your paint. Paint on the model. Probably watered that down a bit too much, but because I undercoated the model, it doesn't matter that much. Now, as you can see, I am butchering this model. But, the skin is the last colour that we're going to do. And so that's the one that's going to go over everything else. So it doesn't matter if I miss bits. It doesn't matter if I piss over the edges. Like I said, this isn't the Mona Lisa. This is for a board game that your friends are going to be playing with the model, throwing them around, and your children are going to put them in your mouth and eat them and chew them and shit them out. So wouldn't get too upset 
about anything. Oh, look at them white socks. All the better for eating your brains out. You can always search for smaller details. These zombie side models. We've got a lot of them. Which are really good casts for what you pay. And the game's fun too. Wife beater, done. Alright. Yeah, because I'm lazy. I'm just gonna give him same colour brown hair, brown shoes. And we're gonna get onto the skin. Yeah, obviously, the game's called Zombie Side. So the skin is pretty much the biggest part of the model. You're gonna see a lot of skin, and that's what we're gonna focus on. So other bits don't matter a lot. Yeah, don't be a spastic, but Don't get too caught up in doing individual models because there's like 62 of them and you will get bored and you will get bored quickly despite the wonderful feeling when you finish one model and then 10 models and then 62 models it's going to come to a point where you're going to consider alcoholism as a serious career change. hair, looks so pretty, there's a brown on his face, doesn't matter because the skin is the last thing we'll be painting, thus I don't really care about how the rest of this goes on. Rightio, that's it for everything but the skin. Wash your brush out after every colour. Also, good idea to wash your brush if you're doing a lot of different models over a long time because the paint will dry on your brush bristles and you will end up fucking up your brush. So, if you're doing batch painting, five or ten models at a time, do make sure that you wash your brushes in between there. Or you'll just end up with junk. No one likes junk. Alright, like I said, skin, big part of the model. We're gonna put a whole bunch on. Got my paint up to my bristles. Lazy. Wash the brush out. Dry it off. Good to go. Now, this particular flesh colour that I'm using is an old colour and is already well watered down so I'm not going to put water in this one but as a general rule you should water down your paints I'm just lazy as you can see taking a bit more care this one because the more time I take doing the skin less time I have to touch up if I get anal and want to make it look actually nice, which I don't really so. Mass paint. Get her on, nice and sloppy. Always, as a painting tip, make sure that your hands or wrists are resting on the table or surface that you're painting your model on. If you try and hold them up and paint, you're going to wiggle everywhere because you've probably got Alzheimer's by the time you finish watching this video. And you'll look like you've painted the model with Parkinson's. So always rest your wrists on the surface. Make it easier, make it look like you know what you're doing. Everyone will think you're cooler for it. Like I said, skin, big part of the model. I'm taking a bit more care not to splash it all over everything like I did with the shoes and the pants and the wife beater. Man, these look like business pants. Why 
It's got a wife beater on. I don't know. Maybe he worked from home. Almost done. One more arm. And then she's ready for washing. And the washing process, very easy, but it does require you to have dry paint on the model. Otherwise, it kind of just smudges and all of the easy work gets turned into hard work because you've got to unfuck what you just did. So that done. So, as you can see, it looks like a three-year-old's painted it. It has got extremely, extremely basic. I won't even say the word detail. Just paint on the model. And once that dries, we will be ready to wash this bad boy. I'm going to pause it there, come back when it's dry, I need a drink, it's been a long Wednesday. Okay, coming back, paint's all dry, looking pretty nice, that's a lie, still looks like a three year old's vomit has been distilled with corn syrup and turned into paint, but luckily some smart people made up things called washers, or shades, or whatever you want to call them. And as you can see, it's just sloppy paint. All it is, super watered down. Because of this, you don't have to water down the paint, no problem. But we do still want to keep our bristles and nubs from being filled with paint. Still paint in the end. Alright, now, watch the magic, as we just literally cover this model from head to toe in this wash. It's so brutally, unapologetically simple. And as we rub this wash over the model, because the paint is so watered down, you can see, probably, that it's just running into the recesses, flooding into the cracks, and doing all the hard work for us. Absolutely savagely pouring this on. This is not really a lesson in painting. It's how to drown something if it was already dead. But, as you can see, it's working. Put the wash on, falls into all the cracks. Model looks painted by an expert super pro. All your friends will want your autograph. Alright, so you can see that this step was a lot faster than the first one. And Mm. Wash your brush out. Dry that fucker off. Close your paint, because no one likes dry paint. No one wants to buy it all over again. And here is your guy. You can see his wash has run into the cracks done all the hard work for you all the hard work now from there you can
could go a little bit further if you think, oh man, I've got so much time and only another 61 models to go and you can either add a little bit more paint on top of that, get something like this guy. But honestly, this just makes it a little bit more pretty and it's not super important. really not important that you have these extra details picked out but you can basically just pick out the stuff paint a little bit of paint over the very uppermost parts of the model leaving the wash in the crevasses and it just adds it a second or a third layer I guess making it a little bit a little bit shinier and that's it. You've just painted the first model. And it doesn't look totally fucking stupid. And when they're all lined up on the board, it looks really cool. So that's pretty much it for this paint tutorial. F over in Adelaide. Send thanks with beer or iced coffee, farmers union if possible. And I expect full remuneration when I'm back in Adelaide next. Thanks very much. See you later.